Hello everyone and welcome back with this new video. Today I'm happy to show you a new early project that's really interesting. Terraflora. It's the first deep in agriculture and it's on Solana. Its mission is to build a decentralized soil intelligence network for highly reliable infrastructure for farmers and CO2 reduction. I spoke with the team to better understand the project and collect the info that also interests us miners. The device is not only for farmers but for everyone and you can install the miner even in your garden. In this video, I will show you the main info on Terraflora. And if you are interested, I suggest you pre-order these days to be part of the first batch. So, let's begin. First of all, what is Terraflora? Terraflora is a Web3-based D-PIN project that enables farmers, environmentalists, and data providers to participate in a new kind of economy, the tokenized and verifiable CO2 market. At the core is a soil intelligence device installed directly on farmland. This device is equipped with multiple environmental sensors that continuously measure soil moisture, temperature, pH levels, organic matter and humus content, biomass and CO2 capture potential of the soil. And why could Terraflora be an important D-PIN? The main customers of Terraflora are companies that are either legally required or voluntarily committed to offsetting their CO2 emissions. These include industrial corporations, energy companies, and food and construction industries. The carbon offset market is massive. It was already worth over $2 billion in 2023 and is expected to grow to more than $50 billion per year by 2030. Large corporations, especially in industry, logistics, or energy, are under pressure to reduce or offset their CO2 emissions. However, traditional carbon credit systems are often opaque, slow, and centralized. Terraflora changes that by making the process decentralized, real-time verified, transparent, and on-chain. Then the collected data is securely transmitted to the blockchain, where it is validated by a decentralized device called the Home Miner. The Home Miner ensures the data is authentic, no spoofing or tampering, the device is properly installed and registered, and finally the CO2 values meet the requirements for verified carbon credits. So, if you want to join Terraflora, there are three different devices available, the Home Miner, the Weather, and the Farmer. The two most important are the Home Miner and the Farmer because they will be able to analyze the soil. The Weather doesn't have this feature, and therefore expect lower rewards for this miner. For the rest, there's no strict land size requirement. The miner can be installed in home gardens, small farms, and also larger agricultural plots. But the most important thing is the miner is inserted into natural soil, not on pavement or concrete. The device's connectivity, for each miner to be operational and online, will be via Wi-Fi and LoRaWAN. The team is working, for example, on Helium IoT. So while the home miner is more suitable for being planted in areas around the house or small plots of land, and its power supply is the classic one via a socket, the farmer miner is suitable for farmers, or if you have large plots. For this reason, the device is also supplied with photovoltaic panels to allow you a more remote installation. The difference between the two miners, in addition to the price and power supply, will mainly concern the rewards. The farmer, since it will be able to analyze the soil better and acquire more data, will have greater rewards than the home miner. Anyway, the home miner is also important for the verification process. It will act as validator nodes and also collects its own soil measurements to better understand local environmental conditions. The Explorer is already active and some miners are already installed. These first users are farmers who by installing a Terraflora device can prove their CO2 capture performance through on-chain data and earn carbon credits or tokens. Very important, to prevent spam and device clustering, the Terraflora Layered Rewards model will use a hexagonal grid system, Hexgrid, with 40 kilometers coverage per hexagon. Rewards are tiered based on data density and uniqueness, preventing unnecessary saturation of sensors in a single area. In fact, regarding the tokenomics, those who install the Terraflora miner will get the Terraflora token as rewards. TFL token has a fixed supply of 1 billion tokens and 40% has been allocated for mining rewards. The token will be released on Solana and from what the team told me its release is also expected in a few months. 
so when the first miners will be shipped. If you are interested in the project, I recommend you pre-order these days to be part of the first batch. You can use the coupon ILCAPOFOX at checkout for a 10% discount. And I recommend you enter the same billing information as the shipping information to be 100% sure. The shipping cost is already included in the price of the Terra Flora Miner. Once you have placed the order, don't worry if you don't receive a confirmation email soon. Orders are currently being processed manually. So if you don't receive a confirmation email after a few days, please email hello at terraflora.network in addition to the official shop. If you want, for example, the confirmation email soon, or also to be more sure with a PayPal purchase, there's also Ampchampment, and you can use the coupon ILCAPOFOX for a 7% discount in all shop. The shipping times are the same. So in conclusion, Terraflora's mission is to bring real soil intelligence on-chain, collect with Farmer Miner, if you have large plots, or also through the Home Miner, and create an entirely new income stream for agriculture. The project, even we are at beginning, is already starting to collaborate with other D-pins, and very interesting is the partnership with QuakeCore, another D-pin that I recommend everyone to follow. Because according to some scientific research through the analysis of CO2 present in the soil, it's possible to better study seismic events. Terraflora is a great novelty in D-pin world, both for agriculture and for carbon credits, and I personally pre-ordered a home miner because I believe the project will be really interesting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe to the channel to help me share more contents. Thanks and happy mining everyone.